Over the coming weeks, Energy Quarter will be visiting this 1990s built, two-storey detached residence to record a refurbishment taking place. The emphasis will be on improving the structure's air tightness, reducing heat loss and incorporating a renewable energy source. Let's meet some of the people involved in this project. My brief in this project was basically to um, transform the client's lives in terms of the comfort and efficiency of the house they were living in um, and to meet certain requirements in terms of usage such as you know, a renewed kitchen, freshening up the house aesthetically. The list of works we're going to be carrying out in this project include cavity fill to the cavity wall on the four sides of the house external wall insulation outside of that, which then becomes the, the weather protection to the house. Um, brick slips onto the external wall insulation for the two-storey uh, front of the house, which at the moment has a brick outer leaf, so that will maintain the original appearance. Triple glazed windows throughout the house, air tightness measures for those windows. We're locating them in a way that will be make, them, make the junctions low thermal bridging of window to external insulation, which is very important. A new air tightness membrane and obviously insulation uh, for the ceiling of the annex, which is the single storey portion of the house. The ventilation system will be MVHR, mechanical ventilation with heat recovery. And then the final element I'd say of the project is the heat pump, a um, air to water heat pump, which will provide the heating requirements of the house. Well, we went onto site and uh, we basically um, we stripped out the whole of the area that needs works done to it out the back, ceilings down to see which way the joists are running, so we can work out what way we can get the extracts and all the services for the uh, heat recovery pump and the air handling unit. Also, we've taken out a lot of the windows to have a look to see what way the uh, detailing is on closing the cavity uh, to work out if the air tightness detail that we have will work or do we need to look at it again to make sure that we get the insulation for, uh, right and that we also get the air tightness right when the new windows go in. The time scale of this project is 12 weeks. Now the difficulty we have is um, that the, the client is living in the house so we really, it's really important that we ramp up all our logistics and uh, all our programming correctly with the nominated subcontractor because we can't close up the inside of the building until all of that is done. The design challenges in the project, one of those would be bringing the windows forward to the line of external insulation, so how are those windows fixed off the original masonry? Um, there were a few interesting things about this house in terms of condensation and, and vapour control. There was an issue with double glazing and that the double glazing seal, literally the spacer that, that separates the two sheets of glass had actually, there was some imperfections or given way or some leaks there. So this meant that there was a kind of a cloudiness inside the glazing when you looked at it. You knew something was wrong if you looked at it. Uh, also condensation could get in. So it was very clear in every which way that those windows had to go. And that, was, that meant from the very beginning we were talking about new triple glazing windows. Um, that's, that's one aspect. The other aspect that was very clear was that there was no proper ventilation system in this house. Now that may sound shocking, but if I told you that 90% of the houses in Ireland have no proper ventilation system, you might get a sense of the scale of the problem we're facing in this country. And we're putting in more and more insulation, we're making the houses more and more airtight, we're whacking the temperature up, we want to walk around our houses in t-shirts, um, people still want to dry their clothes in the bedroom or, or in the, the box room or you know, all these sorts of different things, all of which add to the moisture load in the house, uh, as well as you know, cooking stews and all these different things yet we're not actually dealing with extraction. We're not supplying good air and we're not extracting it properly. The reason I'm on site today is I'm representing Ecological Building Systems, I'm a technical engineer to company and I'm here to provide technical assistance and guidance to all the site personnel at this early stage. Ecological Building Systems supply the air tightness membranes, the air tightness tapes and all the air tightness accessories required on this refurbishment project. Prior to this, we, I already had a meeting with the architect Joseph to go through the main plans. So that's the first step with air tightness is the design phase. But we're now at a critical point at the build stage where we have to have a toolbox talk to ensure that all site personnel are familiar with what the target air tightness is for the project and where the key junctions and ceiling details will be. So. Joe will be the air tightness champion as a link to the plasterer, the electrician, the plumber, the window fitter, the insulation installer and all the trades to ensure that everybody understands where they're coming from and the importance of the air tightness seal. In terms of works done to date, uh, the heat pump is, is in and commissioned. 
Uh, the mechanical ventilation heat recovery unit is in and commissioned. The windows are in place, and we'll be, I'll be talking about more about that in a moment. There are there have been some issues there, maybe some learnings and some things that maybe aren't as good as they should be and need to be sorted. And external wall installation has recently started. Uh, plinth installation and, and obviously all preparatory works for external installation happened uh, a few weeks ago. But we expected at this stage to have actually finished. As I said, there was a, there's been a serious hold-up in terms of the glazing package and that has thrown everything. As you can imagine, you can't do an air tightness test before you've got windows in. If you're externally insulating and the external insulation, as in this case, is coming past the edge of the windows to ensure best possible thermal continuity, having moved the windows forward, all parts of the preparatory works. If you're doing all these sorts of things, the windows need to be right. We, we've had problems with this particular system in terms of how the, the, the corners mitered, corners meet the styles. It's mostly cosmetic, it's the external panelling of an alu clad system, so you've got timber as the main structure, and there's, a, there's an aluminium cladding on, on, in front of all of that. It, the issues have mostly revolved around that particular cladding on the outside. External wall insulation is, is very new to this country. It's not new worldwide. External wall insulation, well done, is robust, is sensible, there's a range of ways of doing it, and it suits this country, it suits this climate, and it can work with our houses. That's an important thing to say. The next thing is that uh, elements of it, such as brick slips, are uh, applying brick slips onto them because we have a lot of brick buildings, is, is still considered unusual. And things like that and things like the gas connection and the electrical connection, the ESB connection or the phone connections, they, these are elements that the industry is slowly getting to grips with how to integrate those normal features of normal houses with this great system. In terms of brick slips specifically, it's interesting in this house, we're, we're cladding over the existing cavity wall at the front of the house, uh, which is brick outer leaf, with the insulation, and we're, we're then adding brick slips on. So we've got two elements of brick separated by a roof. Uh, we're going to be cladding both of those with obviously the external insulation, including in the roof area, and then brick slips on the visible areas. And we're going to be matching exactly the original brick slips. Now just to say a brick slip, isn't an imitation brick, it's not uh, something in the render that you've cut out or whatever, it actually is a physical piece of brick. It's the proper installer using a proper certified system, knowing what they're on about and, and doing it right and it's, it's, that, it's that balance which often is a challenge in this country. With the project finished, having achieved a BER of B1, an air tightness result of 3.9 air changes per hour, we asked the clients what they thought. They already had noticed their home was now much warmer. Drafts were a thing of the past and the living space heats up much faster than before with very little heat required. 